Listen up, listen up. So you want to learn how to make money online? Well, I'm here to show you how. Step one, pick a product that you absolutely love. For me, it's sunglasses. Now, go online and find an affiliate program for it. Simply type in affiliate program sunglasses and see what comes up. Step two, advertise that product for free on Pinterest. Take the URL of the product online and paste it into pingenerator.com to generate pins instantly. Step three, schedule those pins for later so that your business is running while you sleep. Okay, everybody, let's get into this. Today, we're gonna to be setting up a full Pinterest affiliate marketing business from top to bottom. I encourage you guys to follow along step by step. You can even copy the example that I'm using bit by bit. I won't be hurt if you do. I encourage you to. So what we're gonna look at is finding a niche product to market as an affiliate and finding specific products that are best for Pinterest. We're gonna set up our Pinterest uh, and we, we're gonna take two approaches. The first approach is we're gonna advertise our affiliate links on Pinterest without having a website. And we're also gonna advertise our links on Pinterest with a website. So we're gonna go over each option. And then we're gonna go into how we schedule and set up our pins and how we can set up tons of pins really quickly for our affiliate marketing business. If you're new here, I'm Oli and welcome to my very pink Airbnb in Greece. I make videos about affiliate marketing, Pinterest marketing and making money online. So if you like more of the stuff, please subscribe to support the channel and let's get into it. So there are a lot of niches on Pinterest that do a lot better than others. Pinterest is a predominantly female space. I think it's like 85% women on it. And therefore, you know, the niches that are very popular on Pinterest tend to those categories. So here's a list of the top 10 most popular niches in no particular order. Fashion, beauty, travel, home decor, art, DIY design, recipes, parenting, mommy and uh, mommy blogs, and technology. So the best thing is to kind of consider each of these niches and try to find a product that you want to advertise that falls within one of these because then you know that they're going to get uh, some good traffic and they'll be searched for quite a lot in Pinterest. Something that won't be uh, searched a lot in Pinterest would be something like, I don't know, like uh, something probably very masculine like uh, tr truck driving or like mechanic repair tutorials. Um, those things won't be very popular in Pinterest. So I, that might have been a terrible example, but uh, you get the idea. So take a look at these niches and kind of use that as a basis for what you choose. So a great way to find popular items in Pinterest is through looking at either Pinterest predicts or Pinterest trends. So look at the Pinterest predicts uh, website page here. It's quite uh, zany. There's quite a lot of like inspirational stuff going on here. It's quite, quite cool. Um, and then basically it says these are the categories and things that we predict are going to be popular on Pinterest in the next year. So this is for 2022. And um, so they have a bunch of things that they think are going to be popular. So curve appealing, that's curve design styles. Uh, a lot of the stuff I don't understand, like dopamine dressing. I've never heard of that in my life. Uh, but you can see what they're going with, like okay, gothic styles. Um, and this is all uh, speculative, but I think it's based on a lot of Pinterest data that they use. So this has some basis to it. So this is a good place to find inspiration. But what I think is a better place to find uh, concrete data is through Pinterest trends. So go to trends.pinterest.com and you'll be able to see what's happening on Pinterest. So currently there's a 26% increase in searches for fried corn on the cob. I don't think you're going to make money selling fried corn as an affiliate marketer, but here is a good place to start. So, summer nails are trending. Memorial Day quotes. Uh, Joe Keery, no idea who that is. Um, and so these are great places to find things that we can market as an affiliate. Okay, so let's look. 80s fashion. This is quite good, you know, if you could sell fashion items in that trend. Um, makeup. There's uh, pearl makeup, so there's lots of makeup affiliates out there. That's good. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, is there some designs, home decor stuff, um, travel, beach picks, things to do, camping. So camping equipment, that's quite cool to sell as an affiliate. Uh, there's lots of travel stuff here. Flags, interesting. Could sell a flag. Um, so 
I've already pre-selected a, a topic, which I'm gonna go with, uh, just for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, I actually found it on Pinterest trends a few weeks ago, and I'll show you here. So it's sunglasses, yeah, okay. Sunglasses, here we go. So you can also search for your own topic that you might be interested in here. So I found sunglasses, and we can see that this is really surging. Um, I think it's because we're approaching summer. It's probably, this topic has a bit of seasonality, so that must be taken into account. You can see here that this seems to dip over winter. So, but it's not the end of the world, the dips, and it always comes back. So there is seasonality here. Here are some related terms. Um, I think this is a great topic because it is um, evergreen. People are always going to be looking for sunglasses year in and year out, so that's great. Oh, also, pay in mind the, uh, the region that you're searching in here. So if you want to uh, search for a specific region, select it from here. I choose the US because the US uh, has the largest portion of Pinterest users. So most people that use Pinterest are from the US. So uh, that's why I've selected the US here. You can see that there's a good trend here. I mean, it's up at 100, this is fantastic. So let's go and look for some uh, glasses, affiliates. So the best way to search for affiliates here, and this is super easy, is just type in what you're looking for, sunglasses, affiliate program. You can see I've searched for it before. And we have a lot of search terms here about affiliate programs where you can earn money advertising other people's sunglasses. So this is great. So there's even ones that are advertised here, so you can see how popular it is. So I've gone with the Olwyn Sunglasses Program. I like this one. But you can see I'm already a, a member here. So let's go to the website. Let's just go to the home page. So we can see these guys have a whole bunch of different sunglasses, aviators, men's sunglasses, Probably best if we target women's sunglasses because women are uh, greater in, in numbers on Pinterest. And we can see here there's some cool shades, we've got polarized glasses, we've got retro, we've got uh, styles, this is like a fashion type sunglass, women's cat eye. Cool, so there's potential here. We've got, we've got some good products here. And we can see what uh, they're selling for, so between like $50, $20, $39, Okay, this is cool. So uh, free shipping for orders over $50. So this is quite attractive uh, to people. Cool. So here's their affiliate page. You can see you can earn up to 30% commission for every successful referral. So if a pair of glasses is costing $50, then the affiliate income is going to be 15 bucks. So that's pretty good. Uh, that's much better than you're going to get with a lot of other affiliate programs. I know Amazon affiliate program, refer, uh, it's got about 4% uh, affiliate share. So this is a pretty good commission. Affiliate commissions can range between, you know, 4% and 50% depending on the product. For physical products, it's normally a bit lower. Um, and for digital products, it can be a lot higher because guys have less cost to cr uh, create and sell the product. So we can see here, uh, we can join up here, we can click to join and promote, and these are all the rules. So I've already signed up, so we can look at the affiliate dashboard. So on our affiliate dashboard here, we can see that our referral link here. So that this is the link that we have to share in order to track the sales that come through our marketing efforts. So this is gonna be the link that we add to our URLs that we share on Pinterest. So. What's cool here is that we also have a coupon code, so we can incentivize people to purchase these products by saying, hey, use the code Oliver Boyers and get 10% off. And that'll incentivize guys to go and make a purchase. The thing you must keep, you must pay attention to here is this bit at the end here. So this is your affiliate tag. The question mark, ref equals, and that's our uh, tag. So this is called a query string. And this is something that you can add to any link on the Olden Sunglasses website and to create a tracking tag. So this is great. So what we can do is we can go to Olwyn. Let's go check out a nice pair of shades. Let's go look at these Olwyn sunglasses for ladies. Perfect. So this is the link that we're going to share. And in order to make it our affiliate link, we add this tracking code on. So boom, we take it and we add it on there. So this will create a cookie in the affiliates browser that is used to track sales that come through our link. And if you want to check that, you can go into their site in the back end and look at 
cookies. Check out Olive and Sunglasses here and then search for our code. Boom, there we go. So we can find our affiliate reference code here and that's the thing that's gonna be tracking us. So a, a, a good question is, can we put our affiliate code directly into Pinterest? So the answer is yes, but there've been many reports of people uh, having their pins removed when you, when you have a pin and you put the affiliate link directly into the pin. So you can see I've created a few here already and these are direct, uh, linking directly to uh, the affiliate code and it's fine. So these pins haven't run into any trouble. So it is possible to do it, but I think you should always keep a close eye on it in case uh, Pinterest doesn't like it. Um, there have been reports of people having their pins removed, so keep an eye on it. So an alternative to having your affiliate link put directly into the Pinterest pin is to set up a landing page for your affiliate products. Now you can do that by setting up a basic WordPress website or a Shopify website or something like that and creating a product page. So here I've got a, a simple website I set up where I can create a landing page for the product. We'll run through this together, so don't stress about that just yet. So some of the other benefits of having a landing page are that when you bring users to this landing page, you can also serve adverts to them. So let's say you have a sidebar here or here where you can serve adverts to them. So I use Zoic to set up uh, adverts on lots of my websites. It's completely free and you can start earning money on all your landing pages immediately. I'll have a link below. Uh, you can also SEO the pages, the landing pages, so SEO optimize them, create great titles and descriptions for them, and then users, then users will be able to be funneled into your landing pages through Google organic search. So Google will see your landing pages, uh, and now when people search for, let's say, sunglasses, cat eye sunglasses, they'll come to my page if it's well SEO. Then I can get advertising traffic from it, and I can uh, then link them on from here to my affiliate page. A cool thing about this is that you can also have multiple affiliates coming out from one uh, blog or website. So there's a lot of benefits to having your own landing pages, but it does take a little bit more time. You can also capture a user's email here and use that to directly email market to them in the future, which is a really good way to convert sales. So let's set up a Pinterest marketing campaign where I don't have a website and I'll be linking directly to my affiliates from my Pinterest links. So I've created a basic page here. I've called it Athena Sunglasses because I'm in Greece at the moment. And um, basically this is where I will uh, add all my pins. So now how do I create pins? Uh, so let's go to the affiliate website that we're on. Okay, let's go back to our cat eye sunglasses and let's take the link. So we've got the link here and remember we've added our affiliate code to the end. So we simply copy, go to pingenerator.com. It's a, you can create a free account for yourself here. You generate pins and you paste your URL in here. So now you click generate. So what pin generator does is it goes to that website. It copies, sorry, it crawls the entire website. It gets the title, it gets the description, and it gets all the pictures that it can find on the website and creates Pinterest pins for it instantly. So check it out. We've got a whole bunch of pins here. We can uh, that the site is generated from that site. Women's cat eye sunglasses. So now if you wanna change up the pins, you can shuffle the pins quite easily. Um, you can see all the images that have been detected here. Uh, and if you edit one pin, you can see all of the images that have been applied and choose the one that you like most. So there's lots of ways to edit it and a really nice way to grab, just generate new pins quickly is to shuffle it. I have a whole bunch of settings here uh, set up already that allow me, so I've got some templates selected, I've got some image settings selected. You can contain images so they expand to fill the space or you can uh, uh, make them smaller so that they fit inside uh, the image space, which is really cool. So for big pictures like this, it's great to expand them. And for product images with nice white backgrounds, you can contain them so that you can see the whole picture. So what I need to do is I have an option. I can pin it directly to Pinterest. I can download the pin. I can edit the pin. We can edit the, the text. So we can say test, test, whatever. Uh, and we can get the pins ready. So you can also move the pictures around. You can resize them however you want to get the perfect pins going. So when I'm generating lots of pins for let's say one product like this, I like to do some things in bulk. So I like to set up a 
a specific title for myself. So let's say cat, let's say cat eyes and glasses. So now you can see it's changed the title for all of the, all of the pins. So let's get some better images because it was using some of the images. Not all of the images are useful. So you can just shuffle to, you know, find better ones. Now, when you're ready to pin, you can simply pin directly to Pinterest or schedule the pin. So once you've scheduled all the pins, you'll be able to see them in your scheduling pin section. So we've got a whole bunch of scheduled pins here. So that's great. So that's how you generate and schedule your pins. Now your pins will start coming through onto your Pinterest website and they'll start gaining impressions. And when people click on them and they'll go straight through to uh, the Olwyn sunglasses page and make an affiliate sale. And that's how you earn money. So that's the way that we can do this without having our own website. So let's look at how we can set up our own landing pages for our own Pinterest affiliate marketing business. What I do is I like to use WordPress for all my landing pages and websites that I create. So WordPress is a free software. You only need someone to host it for you uh, in order to set it up. So I use SiteGround. To, so I use SiteGround and I use it for all my websites and landing pages that I set up. It's, they're really good. I've been with a bunch of hosts and I really like these guys. They're super fast, their customer service is excellent and they've got a crazy special on at the moment, uh, $3.99 a month. I suggest getting the full two year plan immediately so that you can lock this discount in for as long as possible. So what I love about SiteGround is that you can set up a website in two minutes. I literally have a video which I'll link down below that where you where I set up a WordPress site in two minutes. So look at it, follow it along to set up your own WordPress website. And this is how we can create landing pages. It's super easy. So once your website's set up, we'll have a WordPress website here. WordPress is great. It's free. We go to the dashboard and we're going to set up landing pages using WooCommerce. WooCommerce is also free. So each affiliate product is going to be a product. So let's add a new product. We're basically selling these cat's eye sunglasses uh, we can use uh, write a description so we don't really want to copy exactly word for word their page yet so we want to write a really nice description for uh, cat's eye sunglasses um, you can use different keyword research tools uh, you can go to google and uh, do some key basic keyword research on cat's eye sunglasses so let's go cat's eye sunglasses UK, cat's eye sunnies, cat's eye. So these are some great search terms to copy. So these are some you can, how you can get some good ideas on uh, words to use to attract people to your website in SEO terms. So we can say these cat's eye sunglasses are great to protect to protect you from the sun. So you need to write at least 200 to 300 words for a product in order to SEO it properly. I use Yoast, uh, which is an SEO tool on WordPress, which gives you some hints and stuff about how you can improve your SEO. But if you don't want to write it, there's a really cool tool that I recommend called Jasper.ai. Now I have a, an account here, and basically it's an AI where you can generate uh, words a natural language from basic hints that you give it. So here I want to say uh, cat's eye sunglasses, and we're going to set, we're going to tell it what we want it to write. So we say, uh, tell me how cat's eye sunglasses are the best sunglasses for women. Let's say. Um, humorous a tone of voice, which is I quite like. And let's go cats, eye, sunglasses. And we simply uh, tell Jasper to compose. And now it's going to tell us about cats, eye, sunglasses. This is something about cats, eye, sunglasses that makes them perfect accessory for women. They've just got that genetic quality that makes them irresistible. Whether you're looking to add a touch of glamour or you want. So now you're, that's the way to go. So boom, there we go. We've got a great description for our product and we can put that there. So if we want a longer piece of text, we can further compose. I mean, I love this tool. So 
always type, always just double check it that it makes sense. Um, and you know, you got you gotta read through it and just double check that it's okay. But I mean, this is the fastest way to write product descriptions. So I use this for lots of my product descriptions in some of my websites uh, because I use quite a lot and writing it takes time. And this really helps me to write stuff quickly. You can also use this to write blog posts for yourself, uh, advertising copy, all sorts of things. So Jasper AI, I'll put a link down below. It's really, really good. So now, we've, so now that we've got our description, we can set up a product. You can simply select affiliate uh, product here. And so here you gotta copy the link to your affiliate product and put the price in. So this price here is $39.95. And a sale price if you want, but we don't. Well, do they have a sale price? Yeah, it used to be $80. So let's say 80. And let's swap these around so that people think they're getting a deal. Okay, so let's save draft. Okay, and now we need images too. So simple way to get images is we can uh, save them from the affiliate website. Uh, but you must make very sure that in the, within the terms and conditions of the affiliate website that you're allowed to use their images. Most guys allow you to and it's no problem, but some people, some affiliate programs want uh, specific conditions. So with like, for example, with Amazon, they give you a link and an embedding code uh, to use their images. So just double check that. Uh, but normally you can just use the images on the website. So I'm gonna upload these product images. I'm gonna set the title text and uh, the, uh, the alt text. This is for SEO. Cat eye sunglasses. description for this. I'll add that to title there. Cool. And then also we need to set the title here, but not tortoise shell, let's say black. And that's the alt text too. So I'm going to use this one as the product image though. So set product image. Uh, and then and add a gallery image. So there we go. So now we've got those two images linked up. Add product tags. tag and we can categorize these sun sunglasses so I'll say fashion sunglasses this is just cool to create categories on our uh, WordPress site okay so I think that is everything so let's save draft and let's uh, preview this so here we are my WordPress cats eye sunglasses so we can see the sunglasses here that's really cool Here's the price, here's the, here's the description we put in, that's good for SEO. And then when we click the buy product button, we'll see that it redirects us to Olwyn uh, with our affiliate code. So boom, there we go. We've got a landing page uh, for our product and we've got the affiliate code in there and that's perfect, it's looking good. So now you can do this for all the products that you want. Um, go back to the site and you know add a whole bunch of uh, products the ones that you want to advertise and and that's done so you've set up the landing page so now you want to so let's publish this because we we like it and finally okay let's click on this so the URL is right so this is the URL that we're using now so now we can copy that and we can go into pin generator so previously we we're generating directly from the affiliates uh, site so we just paste the link here generate pins so now it'll go to the website and get all the images and the title and you can see here that uh, we've got the images that we want so it's obviously grabbing some optimized images too so we can see here that we're missing a pin description here. So pin generator gets the pin description from the metadata of the product. And this is the, the SEO metadata it's looking for. So it can't find it there. So we've got to make sure on 
WordPress that we have the Yoast plugin. This is the one I use for SEO. So let's just simply add a plugin, Yoast. This is the one, we can install it. And now it's gonna create a little section for us on our product where we can set the SEO details. So let's activate the plugin and we're good to go. So now let's go back to the product and let's go edit product. So now we can see here, here is the Yoast section on uh, doing all the SEO related stuff for our product. So let's create a focus key phrase. Uh, cat's eye sunglasses. Lovely. Okay. And then let's create a meta description here. So I normally just take some of the text from the description into the meta description. So let's just take these top two lines and put them in here. So this is saying it's a bit too long. So let's just make it a bit shorter. Okay, let's look at the analysis. It's saying, oh, I had some outbound links. That's always good to have, internal links. Uh, text length. So these are all recommendations that you can do to improve things. I'm looking at the meta description link. Like I said, they say it's a bit long and we need to make it shorter to make it visible. So let's just use the first paragraph. Are oh, the perfect accessory for women got that genetic you know, that makes them irresistible. Cool. So let's save that, let's update, and let's go back to pin generator after this is updated. And let's regenerate pins for this URL. So it'll go back and it'll look at the page. And there we go, now we've got the pin description in there. So this is fantastic. So now we can pin, download, or schedule these pins for later. And I suppose what's left is just to, dis to explain to you guys how to schedule your pins in the best way possible. So if you head on over to schedule pins, on this left hand side here, you'll see your pin scheduling settings and here you'll see all the pins that you have scheduled for the future. So let's go through this step by step together. So these are the settings that control how many pins you post per day, what times the pins are sent out and in which time zone. So you might be in America, you might be in Europe, you might be in Australia, you've got to set the time zone for where your audience is. So these are the times that are best for your audience. So that's why we can set the time zone here. So I set my time zone to Pacific time, US and Canada. Uh, and because I think that's where my audience is going to be, US and Canada. So this says when you change these settings, only the new scheduled pins will use the new settings. Your old scheduled pins will keep their previously scheduled times. So let's say you set this up and you're pinning. Pins will, will, will be added to the schedule according to your settings. Then if you change them, they'll be change the settings. Then pins will start being following those new settings. Um, but if you would like to update the schedule times for all your scheduled pins, you can hit the reset schedule times button. So now we've scheduled all these pins for uh, Pacific time for Canada. So if we wanted to change the time zone to, uh, let's say, where I'm in Greece at the moment, so I'm in plus three, uh, which is the same as Sibeli. So let's save our new settings and we can reset the scheduled times. So now all these pins are set up to go for these new sh pin scheduling times in Sibeli. So that's how you would adjust your, your, your scheduled pin times. But I'm gonna leave it at Pacific time because that's where my audience is. And of course, I have to reset the scheduled times to get them back again. Now, we can also set how many pins we wanna schedule per day. So a great, so now we can set how many pins we wanna schedule per day. It's a good idea to start uh, with about 10 to 20 pins per day and then start ramping your way up to 30 or even 40 pins a day, depending on how big your business is. So P Pinterest likes it when you start slow and you start ramping up. So if you start immediately by pinning 100 pins a day, Pinterest is instantly gonna say to itself, okay, this looks dodgy, this might be spam, and they might flag you as spam. So a way to ease into it is to start 10 pins a day, and then in the next week, 20 pins a day, and then the next week, 30 pins a day, you know, you're ramping up nice and slowly and you can really get some good volume going uh, to increase your impressions and your outbound clicks. 
So I'd start with 10 to 20 pins and start ramping my way up. So I'm gonna start with 10. Uh, these are the times I wanna post pins in. So there's two windows of time you can post pins in. You can, I set mine to seven, between 7.30 and 11 at night and, and eight and 11 in the morning. So these are my times where I think there's gonna be the most Pinterest usage and that's why I'm posting pins there. So you can change that to suit whatever time window you like. Uh, and when you are happy with that, you can save your settings. So now I've changed the settings. I want these to follow those rules. So I'll say reset schedule times. So now these are being pinned between nine and 12 and four and 7.30. So you can see that they've all been adjusted. The start of the next pin is at 10. So we're currently uh, we're currently past that time. So we can change these settings to be whatever time we want. And when we adjust them, we save the settings and we can reset the times to fit those grounds. So now you can see that they're posting within those time zone, within those time allotments. So yeah, so I'm gonna just reset mine back to the times I like. I think it's best to pin between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. at night and 2 a.m. and 4 a.m in the morning so this gets your pins out and uh, onto Pinterest so that uh, when people are waking up and using Pinterest then your pins have become visible they're being detected by the algorithm and they're being served so that's what I like I'm gonna reset my times to fit those uh, fit the schedule lovely okay cool so you can also see here it tells you your interval so it says your scheduling settings, you will post a pin every 30 minutes with these scheduling settings in each of the two time windows. So when your time window is active, each 30 minutes you'll be posting a pin. And these are the times that pins are gonna go out. So you'll know these are the time slots that pins are going out. So one thing to note is that once you've scheduled a bunch of pins, you may have scheduled a bunch of pins for the same thing. So a good idea is when you're on when you're generating pins, you know, we're doing cat's eye sunglasses now. We want to schedule, schedule, schedule. Uh, also a great feature is if you've got bulk actions and you've, uh, you know, you set the cat's, uh, you set, oh, hello. You set whatever you want, cat's eye sunglasses, and you're happy with all your pins. And if you're happy with every pin on the page and you've edited it to perfection, like this has got a, a fuzzy image so let's get that this has also got a fuzzy image let's get that let's get the fuzzy image let's do that cool okay so now we've got all these images we're happy with all the images here so i want to actually change the uh, the shop name here so i'm going to call the shop name athena sunglasses so you can see it's changed that in all of them for me so i'm happy with that now once i'm happy with all of them I can schedule all my pins. Okay, I haven't selected a board, so let's go to a board. And I want to select fashion sunglasses. So let's schedule all of these pins. So now instead of having to click one by one, you click schedule all pins, and all of the pins will be scheduled to, uh, to your schedule. So you can see that they're all working here. The clocks are all spinning. And now when we go to schedule pins, you'll see that all of our sunglasses are there. So that's excellent. So we can really fill up our pin schedule uh, really quickly. So Pinterest doesn't want you pinning tons of pins that have the same outbound URL every day. So it might see this as spammy if you are pinning 100 pins to the same URL in a day. Um, so the best way to avoid this is to mix it up a bit. So create pins for lots of different outbound URLs. Um, so I've got some oversized navi uh, navigator sunglasses, cat size sunglasses. So once we've got a, a lot of different URLs going here, 
it's uh, we've got like 10 going here that's quite a good number because we're especially because we're putting 10 pins per day uh, now we may have pinned them all in sequence so we don't 10 cat's eye 10 aviators 10 oversized navigators uh, and all in that order so because we, this is like a pipeline scheduler we will now want to shuffle those pins up so that uh, pins that have the same outbound URL are most widely spaced apart. So to do this, you can just simply click on the Smart Shuffle button here, and that will reorder you all your pins in the best way possible to space out uh, pins that have the same outbound URL. So that is your pin scheduling. The last thing I wanted to touch on is uh, checking out your URL here. So you can see I've used like a temporary URL here uh, to advertise my store. A great way to build trust with your audience is to get your own domain, get a unique domain. So in this case, I would want to buy athenasunglasses.com uh, if it's available. And one of the greatest places to do that is with Namecheap. They have lots of uh, a great service where you can buy domains really cheap. So you can just type it in here, athenasunglasses.com. Let's see if it's available. Cool, it is available. So I could buy that and bada bing bada boom, we've got a new domain. So yeah, that brings us to the end of the tutorial. I hope this was beneficial to you and I hope it was useful. Uh, I hope that you are able to set up your own affiliates business and start making money uh, as soon as possible. So thank you so much for being here till the end. If you're still here, please give us a like and subscribe. And we're gonna be making lots more tutorials on how to make money online and uh, we hope to see you in the next one. Cheers.